Hey guys, I just wanted to go into how to bank in PyGao. That's uh, one of the few casino games where you're actually allowed to play against the player as opposed to playing against the house. How that works, basically, uh, according to house rules, you could just ask to bank. Um, and, you know, then depending on where you are, um, in the East Coast casinos, the dealer takes care of all of the handling of the tiles. But on the West Coast, they give you the tiles and you can handle them. All right, and then make them look however you want. You can't look at, you know, you can't turn them up and look at them. But, you know, otherwise, you know, it's like if you want to set them a certain way, if you want to kind of do one of these and mess around, with, you know, mess around with them, you know, and then it's a lot of times, you know, this, you know, this game is shrouded in a lot of superstition and people, you know, have like their ways of doing things. Right. But, uh, but then when you bank, basically, you know, the tiles go around the table, right, and the, the dealer will place a bet, whatever you bet last, last time you weren't banking, the dealer will put this up, you know, and, sh and she'll be playing against you and then you'll be playing against all the other players as well. So what happens then, let's give these guys some chips here, right? You know, you'll need to have enough money to cover whatever happens in the hand, right? And the players will take their time setting their hands however they need to set them, right? In this case here. It's like in the tiles when they get set, they, they normally get set when they normally get set this way, uh, with uh, whatever your high hand's going to be going horizontally, your low hand going vertically, right? And some places will require you to just make two stacks either way. Right. So then everybody sets their tiles, you know, however they feel that they they should. uses for about three four for example All right. the banker will set his the way that he wants to set his now the dealer is like the dealer sets up you know up her hand how she feels she needs to All right. in the case here we've got a five because it's a six and then the nine and then a gong because you have the twelve and eight so you have five gong. All right here's got seven, eight. So that's a push. All right. So then the dealer is out because you know they're playing against each other now. All right, he's got a three, and then a four, which means he wins. It's hundred dollars. They take the commission out, five percent. They pay him on that hand, and it moves over. You have six. Six gong, which does not beat his seven, seven eight. So that's a push. So in this hand, he banked, and he won one bet. And that's how you bank in Pygo.